Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So I'm here with my part two. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm here with my part two compare and destash. That's what I'm doing. I'm just blinded by these amazing, wonderful, shimmery, glittery, pale greys. It's obviously a shade that I have a massive soft spot for, and I've got nine of them here today. Very much doubt I will be destashing any of them, but let's take a look. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way. We've got some glittery and holographic, so the holographic type of pale greys, the very um, glowy, shimmery pale greys, and the, the glitters. This is China Glaze Don't Be a Snowflake, and this came out in a Christmas collection. I think it wasn't last Christmas, the Christmas before. And this is the kind of polish that is great on its own. You can build it up but it probably is going to look better over another pale grey. Um, I have worn it once. Whether or not I'll be able to find a swatch picture, I'm not sure, but it is a very, very pretty glittery pale grey. So that's Don't Be a Snowflake. And then this one here is a favourite of mine. This is Paper Root or Paper Route from ILMP. It's a beautiful pale grey holographic. I think this is more of a scattered holographic than linear. And it's going to be difficult to see on the, uh, on the white swatch wheel, but we shall build that up. And it just looks fantastic on the nail. I've definitely got a swatch of this one. That's Paper Root from ILMP. And I picked this up because I saw it on Catherine's channel and I just thought, yeah, I've got to have it. So that's the two holographic greys. And now I'm going to move on to the glowy shimmers. I've got two here. This one is more of a blue glow. And this is the beautiful, I believe, from essence and it's got this fantastic pink flash in there absolutely beautiful one of my favorite polishes from the year so far so that gives you an indication that that won't be going anywhere <laughs> um this is from opulent essences and i believe this is called ghost no it's called alien <laughs> it's kind of supernatural um and op opulent essences are a, in a uk indie brand you can't really see too much of the flash in there, which is a real shame. Let's have a look at, I believe, from Essence, where you definitely, immediately on the first swipe, can see that beautiful pinky flash. So that's interesting. It's, you can see the blue, it's very, very subtle, but next to the pink one here... So that's the two shimmery, glowy pale greys. And then I've got the flaky glitters here. So these two are very similar, actually. If you don't have Illamasqua raindrops, which I know is a bit of a lemming classic for a lot of people, then this one here from Essie, which is Parker Perfect, which I'm sure is still available, is very similar in that it's got that silver kind of grain raindrop effect um, but let's have a look at raindrops I definitely won't be destashing this one because of course it's not even available anymore um, Illamasqua don't make nail polishes anymore they stopped last year so that is the very pretty raindrops from Illamasqua And right next to it, so it's a different grey, but it's a, it's a similar sort of concept. Um, it's in fact it's quite a bit darker, but you can definitely, but you can still see the glitter in there. It's very very subtle, nowhere near as pronounced as as raindrops. But if you're looking for that subtle silver shimmer in a grey polish, Parker Perfect is a very pretty essie. And this one here is from the Stone Crystal collection. This is called Therapeuta. And it's it's not a straightforward grey. It's more of that kind of mousy, very, very slight purple 
hue to this and this is from the same collection that Super Cooper is from um, and actually that is a very pretty subtle kind of uh, grey shade but it's a beautiful neutral so that's Therapeuta and again another similar this was sent to me by Loopy Frog and I remember just being completely taken aback when this arrives this is Undercover Mermaid which is one of my very very few pretty serious polishes I had a bit of a kind of hit and miss relationship with um pretty serious and I ended up de-stashing quite a few and then yeah the brand has been a bit up and down I think for a lot of people but this is a beautiful grey and it does have that very pretty hidden kind of mermaidy glitter effect I just it's so pretty so again Louise thank you so much for this one I need to wear this again soon And then this was sent to me by Catherine and Mrs. Cronall. This is one of the modern matte. And I believe this was, yeah, Miracle Stone number 100. And it's a really pretty iridescent shimmer, but it's a matte. So let's have a look. It's just a really pretty polish. It's really unusual in that you can see all of those glitters really quite clearly on the nail but it dries into this really pretty matte finish so I'm going to put a second coat on everything mm, the blue shimmer in Alien is very very subtle I'm going to put a, a second coat on everything and we can come back and see what happens see you in a minute oh this is hard okay but let's make this quick <laughs> it seems to help with the decision making I'm actually going to de-stash Don't Be A Snowflake just because it's a little bit textured and it's just not the kind of thing that I think I would reach for. Um, so yeah, I'm going to de-stash that. I am going to be keeping the ILNP Paper Root. I just love this polish. And then I struggled here because the pink flash is so pronounced in I Believe, which is going nowhere by the way. But it kind of made the very subtle blue flash in Alien from Opulent Essences <sighs> kind of made it seem a little bit invisible really. But you can see it. If you take this away, if you take this one away here and just look at the blue flash here, I do like it. And I, I've used a fair amount of it actually. So yeah, that's a difficult one. I'm going to be keeping both of these. Um, I'm also going to be keeping Raindrops and Parker Perfect. Um, but the three kind of taupey, shimmery greys here, they, they are quite similar. Um, I'm definitely going to be keeping Undercover Mermaid, which is here in the middle. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful polish. I'm also going to be keeping the modern matte, but I'm deliberating over this one. This is Therapeuta, and I don't know, I can't. It's very similar to these two, which again, I don't really, I, don't, I think I've worn this once. Okay, I'm going to be brave and de-stash Therapeuta. So that means of the nine, I'm going to just be de-stashing two. So, mm, yeah. They all look very different there, don't they? Uh, but I need to thin down my collection. It's just the... It's getting too big. It's, I, need to, I haven't got enough space. <laughs> so I'm being a lot more ruthless, especially I'm thinking of like my next house move. I won't be de-stashing any polishes that, you know, I absolutely love. There's no point in that. But when I'm looking at a polish and going, hmm when did I last reach for it is it comparable to something else you know there's a few things that I think about when I'm de-stashing um, and I've just got to be a little bit more ruthless just because of lack of space and um, yeah I'm just trying to be a bit more sensible about my collection so that's a long excuse for why these two are going to be going out of my collection. <laughs> are you into grey-ish, taupey kind of polishes? The next two 
videos will be more neutral, nuge, beige kind of uh, neutrals. So let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.